The world's biggest polluters have less than 30 years to change their ways. So, for the sake of the planet and everyone on it, how can they do it? The era of fossil fuels is over. Why aren't companies, corporations stepping up? There are vested interests, obviously, that have been operating quite, pro quite uh, successfully for decades. And it's very difficult, as we know, in this, but in any other field, to uproot vested interests. Our climate strategy that, um, uh, that we've put in place is fully in line with the Paris Agreement. As long as governments really legislate on their own targets and as long as customers really step up to consuming zero carbon uh, products, then we can and will accelerate. Up to until now, the only way that we have had of bringing those populations um, beyond the level of poverty and into dignified levels of, uh, of living and dignified conditions has actually been basically the burning of coal. I am actually quite impressed that President Xi Jinping has made the commitments that he has made to peak coal um, before 2030, to peak emissions before 2060. If we look at the global picture, of course, in Europe, North America, there's a choice of where our energy comes from, right? It's oil, gas, or renewables. But in countries like Pakistan, or Nigeria, or India, where blackouts are, are rather frequent, I mean, how can they, how do you expect those nations to switch to, to cleaner energy? In Europe and the US, the consumers of choice, they're still choosing, you know, 95% of the new cars that are sold are still, are still non-electric vehicles. So, so we have work to do at home uh, before Europe and the US start preaching to the rest of the world. What's the future for oil companies? We've been, you know, um, one of the leading and one of the most trusted energy companies in the world for the last 125 years. Um, and it's our firm, firm intent to be you know, the leading energy company in 2050.